Well, hello. Welcome to Outdoors with Brad. I'm Brad. It's cold out here. Burr. And it's snowing. Maybe the wind's trying to pick up. But I've got this nice little detail photograph I want to take real quick. And so I'm going to try to do it and see what we get. So stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel, Burr, and like this video if you like it. So I'm going to get on with this really quick because it's kind of getting windy and it's kind of getting snowy and it's cold. So thank you for joining Outdoors with Brad and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Please subscribe. Urgh. Mm. Well, hello from Outdoors with Brad. Well, today I'm going to photograph this detailed shot of a wooden fence with aspens in the background on a cloudy day. It's cold out here and windy. So it will be a quick shot. Now, it is a cloudy day with no shadows in the shot. A great day for close-up shots with no sky in the shot. So here I am setting up my 4x5 camera. I decided to use my 135mm lens on this shot without the red filter. My exposure is f22 at one half second. I got that exposure by using my 35mm digital camera. I set my ISO to 100 on my digital camera and my f-stop to f22 and then move my shutter speed down to a slower shutter speed until I got a good exposure. Basically using my digital camera as an exposure meter. With a normal exposure, I gave the film a normal development time for a normal contrast. You know, when it's cold outside, I like to wear gloves, but I find it impossible to work the camera with gloves on, so I get some cold hands sometimes. But I like to take pictures even in the cold and snow. It's very rewarding when you get a great shot that you love. It makes you want to go out and do some more photography. And then, if you get the photography bug, all you want to do is to take pictures, and more pictures, and more pictures. Now, I have heard that my videos have inspired other photographers to go out and shoot more photography. My videos have definitely made me go out and shoot more. So leave a comment below if my videos has inspired you to shoot more. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now let's talk about shooting detailed shots. I like shooting detailed shots on cloudy days when there are no shadows. When I am shooting a detailed shot, I am usually shooting something close up and showing the texture in the wood or whatever is my subject matter. Bright suns can sometimes cast harsh shadows in the detail. So I like no shadows and get my contrast in the printing in the darkroom. On this shot, I like the fence that is cropping the aspens in the background. The fence post and the top rail is acting like the cropping L's that I use when I crop my pictures on my contact sheets. I am shooting this shot horizontally to match the top rail and putting the post on the left one-third line and letting the top rail take your eyes to the right into the picture. Also, I am putting the large aspen tree just right and behind the post, also on the one-third line. So all of the action is on the left one-third of the picture, and the empty space on the right two-thirds of the picture. Here I am leveling the camera 
And I start with leveling the film back of the camera. Always like being level with the ground that I am standing on. And leveling the film back vertically for perspective. Then I also level the front lens board for my focusing plane. Also to be leveled with the fence post so that the very top of the fence post and the bottom is in focus. One more check to make sure that the shot is in focus and I am mainly focusing on the fence post in the foreground of the shot. I want to make sure that all of the fence post is in focus and the aspens in the background can, I think, go a little bit out of focus. What do you think? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think about the aspens being slightly out of focus. As I said earlier, my exposure is f22 at one half of a second. At that slow of a shutter speed, I want to try to shoot when there is no wind if I can. I think my best exposure with no wind was on the third and fourth sheet of film on this shot. Definitely not on the fifth and sixth sheet of film on this shot. There was a blade of grass that was blowing in the wind on this shot in the background. And I managed it to lay still on the fourth sheet. That is the one that I printed up that you will see at the end of this video. And please leave a comment if you like the shot. I don't think it was my best shot, but it was one that I took. So we keep on going on and taking more pictures. By this time in the video, it was getting cold, and it was snowing more, and it was getting windier by the minute. And the last sheet of film, it was too windy. Well, thank you for watching this video, and please like the video if you liked it. And please subscribe to my channel, Outdoors with Brad. Thanks, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.